Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That's Everyday City Carry. So what's going on, man? I've been busy working on videos for the A-List CBD channel. Subscribe to that if you want to do your boy a favor. I've got two videos up on it so far. Follow us on Instagram, too. I'll drop a link in the description. Now, I got a new smartphone, the Ocatel K9. Is your iPhone just too small? and puny. This thing's got a 7.12 inch screen. I also picked up a new mic, so bear with me if there is some trial and error on that. I'm using new audio right now. What else, man? I've got the Alliance Designs Ice Light. That came in on Friday from the Apex Passaround Group. Shout out to the Apex Passaround Group. But what have I got for you this week? I've got one two, three firm forges, the Archbishop 2.0. Now to me, the most important spec in a knife is the price, and the price is $275. Now I want to remind you guys that this is just an overview of these three knives. This isn't a regular review since it is a pass around knife. On the positives. Well, your blade steel is M390. Kind of hard not to like M390. You've got a drop point with lots of belly for slicing. I literally Googled that. Then you got jimping on top, very aggressive jimping. It fits well with the design and it works extremely well. You've got a finger choil. Do you even finger choil, bro? All three of these have very generous finger choils that work well with the ergonomics. Some of you are probably wondering like, what the f happened to the finish on that? Well, that just shows I'm a noob and I can't be trusted with these things, man. Cause I had a lot of mishaps with this one. <laughs> Speaking of ergonomics, we're gonna get into the specifics of each one of these models. For the contoured, that's the sort of plain titanium version, this has the best feeling in hand because of the rounded handle scales, man. Now for the chevron, that's sort of the arrow pattern, those patterns lead to grip. My three fingers sort of just go into these three arrows here. The through work, the jimping is assisted by the cutouts on top there. You've got really great action on all three of these versions. You don't get any flippers fatigue. In my opinion, disengaging the Chevron model feels much more stiff than the other two. Maybe that's because it's not broken in. Now on the negatives, you've got the weight. The weight is 4.74 ounces. This thing feels sort of a little heavy in hand. And the price, it's just out of my range, but I feel that the Archbishop 2.0 is deserving of that $275 price tag. I just can't freaking afford it. And some of my viewers will say the same thing. Now, do I recommend these things? I do really like all three of them, and you all know it, if I had that Scrooge McDuck money, I'd have all the Ferrum Forges. This is my first time handling a Ferrum Forge knife. They feel very overbuilt, sort of like a zero tolerance, but they definitely got their own thing, their own flair going on for them. I like them a lot. If you want to let loose, you got a spare 300 to spare, or 275 rather. Maybe you want to buy something a little pricier. I don't think the Archbishop 2.0 is a bad choice. This is your boy in NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace.